Welcome back to the Morales channel. My name is Ash. This is the second part of a video series in which we are going to be cloning the functionality of a Whale Alerts app using Morales and React.js in this case. In the last video, we went through the code of how to create this very simple user interface for our Whale Alert app. You would enter an ETH address here, submit it, and then it would send it to our cloud functions in this cloud file here. The purpose being that we could shut down the front end app and in the background on our Morales instance, these functions would run, syncing our watched address here and then watching so that every time we saved a transaction to our ETH transactions class, we would run some conditions, a very basic condition in this case, which is our address matches the to address in this ETH transaction and then if the condition is met, then it fires our alert. And this is where we got to last time. So currently our alert is just etherscan transaction link that you go to the log, you click on the link and it gives you all the data about the transaction that you're interested in to do with our whale. But that's not very useful, not very practical when it comes to whale alerts because you want to be going about your day and the data comes to you. You, don't, you shouldn't have to go to a log in somewhere that's probably not very convenient and click on a link and do some digging. You want to have push notifications come to your mobile or a desktop app or wherever you are. You want it to be convenient and real time. So the purpose of today's tutorial is to replace this log entry etherscan address with a third party service such as Telegram, email or Twitter. In this case, we're going to be focusing on Telegram but I'm really excited to show you how easy it is to turn this into something very powerful. So let's get stuck into it. First things first, this is part two. So if you haven't watched part one, then I suggest you go back and watch that first before continuing with this video. But you want to have this code base cloned down to your local dev environment. And you want to make sure that your cloud file, which is the file we're actually only concerned with in this tutorial, so we can actually close all other files. Cloudfile.js in the cloud folder is the file that we're interested in today and we're going to make sure that this cloud file is syncing with our Morales instance. So what we're going to do through our terminal we're going to give it our cloud file path, point at our server and our file has been uploaded correctly. So this cloud file now is syncing with our Morales instance and now I'll take you through the code where we got to last time, which was here. This log entry as our alert, it's now been commented out. And what's been updated is this send telegram alert. And in fact, let's go through all the way. We've got this watch address function, which is the first function that gets triggered when we enter our Ethereum address into here of the well that we want to watch. We enter the address, we press submit, and this watch address function gets triggered. So all the code is the same here since part one. And then we have this new code here. What we want to do, the point of this code is to allow for a user interface that has buttons, checkboxes here that says Telegram, Twitter, email, etc. Basically, how do we want to be alerted via the user interface about this address? The address that we enter, do we want to be notified by Telegram? Tick that box. But the point of this code is to set how we want to be notified about an address that we're watching. So we get the data to do with it. And now we've set the alert method and we check what that alert method is. And here we've got the switches, the conditional statements. We've got Telegram, email, Twitter currently. And if Telegram is the way that we want to be alerted, matches our alert method in our Morales instance to do with the address that we're watching, that we're going to send this telegram alert function. We're going to set up a bot that is going to send a message, which is this message here. Instead of sending this link to our log like we did last time, we're now going to be using a telegram bot to send it into a chat, which is then going to be available via desktop, push notifications on your mobile, etc. And the way we do it is just via this Morales HTTP request, T HTTP request function. And I'll show you how exactly we set up the Telegram bot now and how this function plugs into that bot. It's actually very simple and incredibly powerful. 
So Telegram, if you're not aware, is a messaging app for desktop, mobile, that allows you to create chats and bots that you can then programmatically send messages via. You can program them bots to do all sorts of things via their API here. So what we're gonna do is the easy way to do this. The first step is actually to download Telegram. So I've got Telegram for desktop here just because it keeps everything in one place on my development machine. You can also do it for mobile, but here we've got Telegram for Mac OS X. And what we wanna do is first create a Telegram channel. So let's do that now. New channel. We're going to call this channel Whale Alerts Test. And that's it for now. We're going to make it public. And we'll say Whale Alerts Test. We got that right, yeah. Whale Alerts Test. Okay. Let's just copy that. Done. Okay, so we've got our channel Whale Alerts Test. And what we're going to do next, we have to go a step two. We're going to create our Telegram bot that is going to message into our Whale Alerts Test channel. So the way you do this is by the bot father. So Telegram has its own in-house bot that allows you to create bots. So what we're going to do is we're going to press start, search for the bot father, press start, and then we're going to use these commands here to create and edit our bot and make it do all the things you want to do. So we're going to type new bot. And then it's going to give us step-by-step -step instructions on what we should do next. So now we need to choose a name. Let's uh, make sure it's one that's not taken. Morales Whale Alerts. Bot. <laughs> there we go. All right, I think we'll copy that as the username as well. Creating our bot is as simple as that. We have our API key. Don't show your API key publicly to anybody. I'm going to be deleting this bot after this video. But we have our bot. We have our chat. And now we're going to go to info under our chat. We're going to look at subscribers and we're going to add the bot that we've just created as a subscriber. This whale alerts bot. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to make it as an admin. So you can change these permissions here depending on what you want to do, but I'm going to keep it simple. So we now have Morales Well Alerts bot, which we, which we just created, is now a subscriber of our chat. So this chat is going to appear on our desktop, on our phone, whatever account that we have, wherever we have our Telegram account, this chat will appear, and our bot is now plugged into it. The final step of setting up Telegram is to make sure our chat is working so we've got our chat working we'll delete that message and then what we're going to do we need the ID of this chat because it's going to be entered into here and the only way we can well the easiest way that we can do that is to via the browser enter this URL here which is accessing the telegram API via the browser and instead of XXX here, we're going to enter our API key of the bot. And we're going to hit return. And that's going to return some JSON. And it's going to let us know which ID the chat is. So here we go. Whale alert test. Whale alert test. Channel ID is this. So copy that. Paste that into our code. Save have the file upload to our cloud, to our Morales instance. Before we use the app itself to run the code to send the message to the bot, we will, via the browser, do a test that it can the bot can actually access the Telegram API. We're going to enter this URL with our API key 
using the send message telegram API function to uh, send our chat this message hello world so using the same as we've got in our code right now we're going to enter our API key and our chat ID okay and press return and hopefully we should get a notification on screen that says hello world perfect and then when we go to our chat that is a message sent by our bot and so that means that via our code what is happening so just as we've done in the browser programmatically now we're doing the same thing we're using our API key of our bot our chat ID and we're sending using this send message API function via telegram to send a message and the message should be triggered via our Morales instance of the watched address that we're watching so when a transaction happens the conditions are met and instead of sending this log message entry then now we get this telegram alert the telegram alert function uses our telegram bot and sends the message the etherscan transaction link to our telegram that is the theory now let's see if it will actually work so let's stop our app control C let's uh, start it up again I'm feeling nervous <laughs> whether this will work or not. So I'm going to go and get a an ETH address that I know will have a lot of transactions so we can actually get some quick response going on with our Telegram app. Enter the address, submit it. It says that it's been added to our watch list. Successful. And then we're going to go to our... So you want to go here, you want to go to your dashboard. So let's just click on our dashboard. And then we've got our watched ETH address. And so this is where our alert method has come in. So we've created a column here called alert method. We've entered telegram, just like we showed here. Oh, we're already getting alerts as I'm doing the tutorial. So there we go, it's working. Here you go. So this is the message that's been sent through with our etherscan link. And you can click on that and it will take you to etherscan. See what the whale's up to. But yeah, our alert method here, entering telegram. So that corresponds to here we've got our alert method which means that uh, so that's correspond okay that's gonna be <laughs> that's gonna be annoying but this is the power of Morales real-time alerts even when I don't need them <laughs> in the middle of a tutorial but yeah alert method here telegram so this is where this code here is setting it's creating a new column in our class in the in here in our Morales instance alert method telegram so again you know this could be email to Twitter whatever we, we'll do they will we'll work on those integrations uh, further down the line but this is just the principle where we're saving how we want to be alerted and then we're using a function here to integrate with a third-party service so useful and uh, it's yeah this is just the start so very easy very easy to integrate with Morales. In future, we're going to be integrating our code with the UI. So we're going to be creating a much nicer user interface so that all the settings in the back end, like the alert method here, like this code here, we'll be able to switch out Telegram, email, Twitter, whatever API we want to integrate with, we'll integrate that into the front end user interface in tutorials to come. As well as that, you can also integrate with email seamlessly. Your Morales instance already has SendGrid integration. So you just need to use this third party service SendGrid. Put in the credentials here of your SendGrid account and then you can send dynamic rich text templates as emails. So instead of Telegram notifications, you can send email notifications. But to be honest, Telegram is probably better for you know if you've got a lot of messages alerts that you're sending then email is it's probably going to be considered spam but I'm just showing you that the the functionality is possible and here you go already in the code we've got this send email alert which is a duplicate really of the send telegram alert but this time we're using we're deploying the Morales cloud email uh, function there is a video 
on this already so I'll leave a link in the description below uh, a video that goes through exactly how to integrate SendGrid and the uh, Morales integration of uh, this dynamic email template service but there is a lot more potential to come with this like I say it's just the beginning and I can't wait to continue on this journey with you leave any questions you've got down below join me in the Morales discord in the Morales forum and I'll see you in the next one